Okay, we're back in San Francisco to end the day at Node Summit, Node.js. This is an, the inaugural conference for uh, the Node trend, Node.js. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com. This is theCUBE, our flagship telecast. We go out to the events, broadcast the knowledge, and share that with you. And you can find the coverage on SiliconAngle.tv or come to SiliconAngle.com every day, the reference point for tech innovation. Uh, big news here this week. Um, SiliconAngle.com is launching DevOps Angle starting tomorrow, uh, or the next day if we can, whenever <laughs> we get it live. And uh, we just secured uh, diamond sponsorship from Dell Computer. So we are excited to let you know that we'll be bringing you that coverage day to day, like a blanket, in the vertical of DevOps, or Ops Dev, or Cloud Developer, whatever you want to call it, we're going to be covering like a blanket. So we're going to end the day here uh, with a wrap up about what we saw and our observations, and we're going to come back tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for the Node Jam, which is the startup section, where we're going to go kind of open mic and have people just come in, talk about what they're working on. So tomorrow's the big developer day, kind of in the trenches, we're early stage entrepreneurs, so come by and make sure you come by tomorrow if you want to check out the startups. Uh, with me to end the day is Clint Finley, the uh, managing uh, editor for our DevOps Angle, also lead writer for servicesangle.com, our other publication. Uh, Clint, um, I saw a lot of conversations today around uh, real time, mobility, big data kind of weaved into the conversation. Uh, we saw a great demo from Brass Monkey around controller to game. All this stuff is leveraging some of these new trends. So wh what's your take on uh, the Node.js movement and the inaugural show? Well, it's interesting to see how many different things it's being used for. Uh, but like you said, uh, real time is a, is a big uh, buzzword here. And uh, Brass Monkey is, uh, has definitely made a strong showing here. Uh, the panel uh, that Brass Monkey was a part of earlier, the machine to machine panel, uh, that was one of the most anticipated panels of the day. And uh, that was one that uh, that was that really drew a lot of attention, and it, it's a theme that keeps coming up that Node is actually really, really good for machine-to-machine -machine communication. So with Brass Monkey, they're using you know mobile devices to as game controllers for games that are in the browser, which is you know a really cool idea. Uh, but it could be you know, so, so there, there's that at the consumer level, but. There's all sorts of deployment and monitoring and, and that sort of stuff being being done with Node.js. I uh, wrote an article on servicesangle.com uh, last week about how uh, Node.js is really popular for DevOps, and the, the, you know the reason why is is that is that asynchronous architecture of it. You broke also the story about the um, all-star Node developers forming their own consultant firm. What was that called? Uh, the Node Firm, and uh, yeah, we'll have a, a couple of the founding partners on tomorrow afternoon uh, on the Cube. Uh, but yeah, the, what what they've done is since there's it's so hard to find uh, Node.js talent right now. It, it, people who have much experience with it are you know already fully employed. So uh, a bunch of guys who you know they already have either their own jobs or their own uh, startups are uh, have, have started a, a, cons a mini consulting firm well they'll, well they'll do consulting engagements that are you know of, of like a day or less uh, to provide software architecture and scaling uh, advice to you know to mo more to uh, startups and to probably to big companies but that's a good point about the skill sets out there for all you folks out there thinking about developing on rails or whatever Python uh, if you're looking for a job node node is a great way to go um, it's got some real benefits with HTTP and web-based stuff. Um, the yep. other thing, news, other big news here is that uh, we heard uh, our friend Dr. L Lucky Spin, um, Todd, <laughs> Todd P. We call him, um, launching Continuity with funding announcement coming later in the week. So the market's robust. I would I would categorize this as a uh, category four hurricane, if you will, in terms of storm. <laughs> I would give it essentially um, a lot of velocity, a lot of movement. Not yet a hurricane five because. Um, it's not fully, the production um, points aren't there. We see some cases with yep. LinkedIn and, and whatnot. Obviously the big vendors are coming in and talking about it. We got, we're seeing Microsoft here. We just interviewed Jay Shree from Arista Networks. Obviously there's a constituency in this new architecture of vendors yeah. that Walmart. believe. Walmart is using it for some of their uh, Walmart Labs mobile apps. Yeah, so this isn't That's like the old credit card days testing stuff on Amazon. You got real companies 
moving the needle in terms of real deployment. So given all that bug, we heard Steve Harrod, we heard a bunch of developer, other communities, CouchDB for Java, the big vendors. So because of that, I gave it a category four. It's just, it's, it's risen so fast, Node.js, in such a short time to relevance. Um, it's quite astounding. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, about a year ago, I was asking uh, Tom Hughes Croucher, uh, who's the, the author of Up and Running with Node.js, uh, you know, who's using uh, Node.js in the enterprise? And he said, not, not really anyone doing that, except unless you count uh, HP was using it for, uh, for web OS, for synchronizing uh, structured data, which is, uh, again, it's a machine-to-machine -machine application. But now, you know, there's LinkedIn, there's Walmart, uh, you know, there's just uh, probably at least a dozen enterprises here at, at Node Summit this week talking about how they're using Node.js in production for, you know, for real applications. What other observations, Clint, have you seen out there? You were out there in the hallways, you were in the sessions, you attended some of the, most of the sessions. What was some of the things, just observations that you saw that you want to share with us? Well, it seems like the buzzword of the day is polyglot, and uh, that kind of ties back to the platforms and service stuff that we've been covering a lot. Um, what does that mean? Uh, the the polyglot, polyglot programmer basically means you know, someone who programs in more than one language. And the, the big trend is, um, is developers aren't, aren't just using one language anymore. It's, you're not just a Java developer or a C developer, a C++ developer. Uh, now, it, it, it's increasingly common that a developer who's building an application, they'll use Ruby on Rails for, for you know, some big part of it, and then they'll pull out Node.js to do some machine-to-machine -machine stuff. Uh, and then maybe on the front end, uh, for the UI, they're using something else entirely, you know. Uh, so it's, it, it's definitely uh, changing in, in that area. Or people are using more than one database, you know, that there's the whole NoSQL movement, so you know, it's, it's not that transactional databases are going away, or the, or the old relational database is going away, it's that uh, things like Redis that provide the short-term memory caching, uh, it, you know, that's very useful, so people are using that in addition to Postgres or MySQL or whatever Have else they might Have you seen any use. scuttlebutt on Twitter around kind of the naysayers of Node.js? Is there any commentary coming in off the uh, off the web in terms of uh, Node is bullshit? Are you hearing anything about that? Or, uh, or, or is it pretty much Node's great, but it needs work, or it's great and it's good? At, at this event, well, what what I've been seeing lately is that the, you know it's, people are just so positive about Node here that all the any of the naysaying is kind of is probably getting drowned out. Uh, but over the, you know over the past year, Node has definitely had its its detractors, and there've been some public instances of people uh, scrapping their scrapping code that they did in in Node and and switching over to to something else like Erlang or doing it with. Um, uh, uh, I, I believe it's called Netty, which is a, a, fra a Java framework for doing asynchronous callbacks. Uh, and then, yeah, some of the answers to that. Are, but w w one thing is, is, is apparently it's you know it's pretty difficult to manage um, uh, multiple multiple threaded multi threading with um, with Node.js. Uh, but but th there are solutions coming out that help people with that. So it it it's, seems mostly that. Uh, the education isn't necessarily all there yet, and that's that's part of what uh, groups like the Node Firm are all about. Is you know, there's a, a handful of people in the world who are really, really experienced with Node.js, and they need to you know share that knowledge so everybody else can get over some of those stumbling blocks like like threading. Hey, we're here live in San Francisco, where all the actions happening in the developer community. A lot of uh, things happening here that will have ripple effects throughout IT and the development communities across the world and uh, Node Summit really kind of in its inaugural event and in my opinion it's been a big success. Um, I'll see the whole developer category here I, you know, is, is a four in my mind uh, in terms of a hurricane status, I want to put it that way. Um, exciting, we're going to hear from startups tomorrow. Um, and uh, I guess just a final question, Clint, for you is, has there any been any exciting startups that you've seen say, wow, I, didn't, I never knew those guys were around or are you pretty much on top of all the companies here? Oh, I, I hadn't heard of uh, uh, Box Map or Map Box. I'm sorry, if, if, <laughs> it's one or the other. I think it's Map Box. Uh, yeah, and we we interviewed them uh, today, and uh, you know that was I, they're really interesting. I'd, I'd never heard of them. They're using Node.js and CouchDB to create a uh, open alternative to Google Maps. 
yeah, they're exciting for free, and then they make money on other places. Yep. Um, but great. Okay. Well, that's going to be a wrap for today at Node Summit. We want to thank um, Dell Computer for stepping up today and being our, our diamond sponsor for our new vertical, DevOps Angle. Come to siliconangle.com, siliconangle.tv. TV is where you'll find all these videos from today. We'll have them curated and, and clipped up there for your pleasure. Um, and look for DevOps Angle. And if you're interested, contact me, John Furrier, at gmail.com, or Clint, who's going to be managing editor of, of that publication. So look forward to uh, seeing you tomorrow, and have a great night.